Well, this situation that ITV are facing at the moment is very common when big organisations experience a crisis and their default position seems to be, what do we need to do to get through this and to get back to business as usual? And it often doesn't work and the various statements that they put out and the things that they do to try and control the story often make it worse and it's because they don't really understand what the crisis is. Um, so it's really important to go to the, the root of the matter. The root of the matter is that there's been a relationship involving two people. And we know how one of them is because he's very rich and very powerful and can command an audience. But we don't know how the other party in that relationship is. Now, some of that might be because he's choosing to keep his own counsel. He hasn't taken opportunities to speak in public. All of that is his right. But the situation remains that we don't know how he's feeling right now. We don't know if he's been looked after. We don't know what really happened to him. And we don't know if he's in a good place right now. So everything that ITV says, um, you know, Giles Brandreth coming on the television this morning and saying, you know, it's not a toxic environment. We're, we're happy. We love coming to work. I'm sure you do. Being on television every day is quite a privilege. Let me hear from the people behind the scenes. Let me hear from the other person in that relationship. And if they don't want to speak or can't speak, then you've got a problem. And you need to understand that all the other comms in the world doesn't answer that question. What happened to that individual?